Okay, we now have a keyboard and mouse hooked up and a monitor hooked up to the Macintosh 2. And I'm using all the various peripherals that would have come with the Macintosh 2 when it was new. So to start with, we're using the Apple Color High Resolution RGB monitor up here. And this was a 13 inch Sony Trinitron Color CRT that was introduced alongside the Macintosh 2. And then down here, we have the Apple Extended Keyboard 2 and the Apple ADB mouse. Now, with the Macintosh 2, you actually had a choice of which keyboard to use. You could either have the extended keyboard 2 that we have here, or you could also have the Apple ADB keyboard here. But for this demonstration, we'll use the full-size Apple extended keyboard 2. So, let's turn it on. Now, this, of course, being the first Macintosh to support soft power, we can use the power key on the keyboard to turn it on, which is this key in the far top right-hand corner. So that's what we'll do. Turn the monitor on first. Back here at Degauss. One other point I should mention is you will hear the hard drive very clearly. Um, I'd say because it has worn bearings that this um, 40 megabyte quantum drive is quite noisy when operating, so uh, please excuse the, uh, the, the uh, whirring sound that you're about to hear. You can hear the bearings uh, quite clearly there. <laughs> this drive might be on its last legs, but it seems to work fine so far. Okay, well we now have the Macintosh 2 up and running. Um, please excuse the uh, whirring of the hard disk there. Uh, it does get quieter as it warms up, but uh, it's still quite loud, but hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the sound of that. So let's have a look at uh, what this Mac 2 is running. Running system 7.5.3 with eight megabytes of memory. And we'll have a look at a couple of the control panels to show you some of the features of the Macintosh 2. Now the first thing to note is if you open the memory control panel, you'll notice that there's no option for virtual memory and there's no option for 32-bit addressing. That's because, number one, the Macintosh 2 was never, never had a 32-bit clean ROM, and this Macintosh 2 still has the original HMMU memory management unit, which does not support virtual memory. And if you look at uh, monitors, we can see that we're displaying 256 colors on this display at a resolution of, uh, should be 640 by 480. Mm -hmm. And given that the Toby video card in this Mac 2 has had its memory upgraded, we can show this many colors. If the memory was not upgraded on that card, we'd only have a choice of up to 16 colors at this resolution. I'll play some... Uh, Play some sounds, as we always do. Turn the volume up a bit. There we go. Okay, well, at this point, I'll demonstrate an old Macintosh game, 
uh, that I used to play myself, albeit on a DOS PC years ago, called... Yeah, should be very familiar to a lot of you. Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego from Broderbund Software? Now, this is a slightly newer version. This one dates to 1994, um, and it has a slightly different um, look to the original. Um, but unfortunately, this is the only copy that I have. But it should run just fine on an older Macintosh 2. So let's give it a try. This, uh, this might take a minute or two. <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's, let's start. Fancy version with the uh, <laughs> the mobile phone. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Here are the details of your new case. Gumshoe. Wow, oh, that's what I am. Contact employee travel. Good luck. I presume you have to push here to call travel, crime net to look up information and warrant when you're ready to arrest someone, I presume. Let's call my travel agent. Expecting a slightly newer plane. <laughs> oh, that's right, the options that you have, things you have to do. Mm, check church. Yes, of course, you have to work out where they've gone. Hmm, so... Where can we go? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think you, I think you get the idea. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't give you a splash screen, it just gives you the uh, item in the uh, Apple menu there. Hmm. Ah, so that's uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego for the Macintosh. Well, newer version anyway. So at this point, let's shut the Macintosh 2 down. 
And of course, supporting soft power, it also will power itself off automatically when you choose shut down. Notice how long the hard drive takes to spin down. Still spinning down. Still going. Still going. And... Still going. It's still spinning. And it just stopped. <laughs> so, that was the demonstration of the Macintosh 2 from 1987. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.